But I've always been interested in Clyde Steamers. We went down the Clyde on holiday in days gone by and therefore grew up with them. So you just roamed about the decks and you saw the people work the gangways and you saw them work the engines and j just the whole aspect of something different from normal ships. And it was a pleasure to be on, very quiet. Everybody was going around with smiles and welcoming people on board. That's what we want to try and recreate. My name is John Beveridge and I'm a director of the Loch Lomond Steamship Company, which is a charity that owns this paddle steamer made of the loch behind us. She was built in 1953 and our aim is a five and a half million pound project to get us sailing on Loch Lomond again. Made of the Loch was built in 1953. Uh, she can carry a thousand people, which is amazing nowadays. So she's a big ship uh, and she lasted until 1981 and then she was withdrawn from service but sold to private companies uh, and then in 1996 the district council bought her we formed the charity and the council gave us the ship free of charge Made of the Loch has four decks this is now the lower deck and this deck now is below the water line and is the lower bar and that's the original bar fittings and servery when we first came on board in the 1990s this was under five feet of water, but all the oak panelling, all the seating, all the flooring was beyond saving. With the Waverley coming out of service, we helped get that back going again, which has been a great success. And then with the middle of the lock coming out of service, we thought we could do the same again. But it's taken now 36 years to get it to this point, but now we've got Heritage Lottery money behind us and they've promised us 3.8 million. The slight catch is we have to raise 1.7 million. We're heading towards the stern and approaching is the ship's Queen's Restaurant and this is where we have our functions and events. It used to be the ship's cafeteria, uh, used to have wooden panelling, nice ceiling, polished wood floors but when we get the money from the Heritage Lottery Fund we're going to put this back into the way it was in the 1950s style with wooden panelling, polished wooden floors, new ceiling, new lighting and recreate the 1950s look. But up ahead here, still in the main deck of the maid, this is the heart of the ship itself, which is the engine room. And the benefit of paddle steamer is that the engine room is open to the public, so the public can stand and watch the engineer at the controls, can watch the pistons going around, smell the steam, and just all the excitement of something actually live and happening. This is the last paddle steamer to be built in Britain, so it's totally unique. And if we don't save her, she'll be lost to the nation. And what we want to do is like a national monument, keep her going, let the public enjoy her, let her see what uh, paddle steamers and steamships can do, but also enjoy the beauty of Loch Lomond. That, that is the big attraction as well. Mm -hmm.